Right then, so we discussed obviously like routine or sequence at setup, okay? Left hand one was kind of here before. As you come into the golf ball there now, okay, you checking your grip down there. Obviously, the club's not anywhere near the ball there, so it's not sort of setting any distance as of yet. Then as you sort of get the grip right, the club goes up. First thing you do, set your feet. So you're setting your feet there and getting yourself in. Now, again, you're guessing what that distance would be. You're not miles out. But if I said to you now, at this position, shut your eyes and place the club next to the ball, would you be confident to get it exactly behind the ball in the middle part of the club face every single no. time? You would do on some occasions, but more often than not, you'd be like, where's that ball kind of gone? And that's when you think about it. If you're trying to judge where that club goes down just to place it with your eyes shut, when that club is swinging at 80 mile an hour, you can't see the club. It's got to be through feel. So if you're too close or too far, the last second you suddenly realise, oh, but I'm too close or too far now, I've got to make a reaction to it, and that's when all these shots are all over the place, if you don't have judgement to it, OK? So, as your club engine goes down, then you have a bit of a waggle, get yourself there, and the club engine sort of just goes down around the ball. And I think potentially they looked a little bit too close, maybe, OK? Now, from here, as you go in from the side, OK? Walk in the side of the golf ball, feet kind of together. Now, you sort of put your feet apart a little bit, and then you re-set sort of again with your feet together. There you go. So you're putting the club behind the golf ball there now. Setting your spine angle, which is a good spine angle. We talked in the first lesson about that 90-degree angle between kind of hip there and shaft angle, which you've pretty much got there spot on. Club down around the ball, feet together, getting yourself up, looking at target, feeling comfortable there with your top half, feeling comfortable with your top half there, and then just setting your feet to the ground. If we zoom in there and zoom in there... Your posture is a little bit different that round. I don't know, it's a little, yeah. just to me a little bit more daylight between there, just because there's a bit more tilt over the ball because you kind of preset that to start with. Now I didn't say stand closer or further. I just said get yourself set club first, then hands, and then your body adjusts to that. So this is your comfortable position, okay? This is your guesstimated position reacting to where the ball is. I put the club down somewhere next to it. It's not far out, right? but as we know, at impact. If your club comes back where this one came back here at impact there in the hose of the golf club we're going to top it or be shanking it across the ground there okay so if we can get yourself set to the golf ball now in a good position nice and relaxed nice like, soft waggle there get nice and loose with the grip pressure one look for target just to see where you are and even on these sims you know just get in the habit of doing that just in your mind though, before that trigger's pulled where's the target just get yourself looking at the target there and then from there no thought in terms of swing just swing back and just boom down the range good full swing and that ball went down there one 120, 130, nice yeah. and straight. And the better the shots you've hit towards the end there when you're not thinking over the ball with your swing. The swing change we've discussed in the past is sort of clicking in now with practice. Doing your practice swings, if we sort of zoom out here now, if there's a line behind you, like a metaphoric line here, you're behind here doing all your practice swings and you're thinking, that's the sort of spot you do it all. Yeah. So you do all this thinking back here in terms of the wind, where the flag is, where you want to go, what you want to avoid, all that process. And then from there... You just then cross this line now into the position and go, okay, club, target, grip, target, posture, target, feet, target, look at the target, boom, hit the golf ball, and then just go and find it, okay? Rather than worrying about all the things over the golf. If your brain at this point here now is thinking about everything under the sun, golf and non-golf related, you've got no chance. Yeah. You? You get, your brain gets in your own way. I mean, the simple thing, if I said to you now, okay, again, you might think about the bin, if there was a bin in the corner, so I'd chuck a ball there, or just pick that to just throw it towards that, and even think about it, just throw it. If I said, okay, right, think where you're going to release that T here. It's got to be just past your elbow. Hang on, okay, where's it going to go? Hang on, do I go? Oh, hang on. It'd be horrendous, wouldn't it? But when you pick, just almost an instinct, just dump and just throw it. That's kind of your, your brain in that split second. Sort of, I pick the T up. I've looked at where that ball is, and in that sort of process of, sort of getting here, I've calculated how far I'm going to throw it, and then I just threw it. I'm not there going right, okay. And I'm going to be just up there, and I'm going to be down here, keep this in, there, and just, just, and then release it just. Oh, Having to be over there, it'd be all over the place, wouldn't it? Okay. Yeah. So do your thinking, do your practice shots behind the ball, away from the ball, cross over that line, sequence of club, grip, posture, feet, look at the target, boom, pull the trigger. Okay. Okay, mate, make sense? Yeah. Good stuff.